Hi everybody and welcome to Jewel Family Farms. I haven't made a movie in a while. Well, I think I made one last week, but I thought I'd come out here on the farm and uh, show you around a little bit. Got the garden started. Now, um, you know, I said something, I think, on my last movie or maybe the one before about starting a garden in your um, um, yard or wherever you pots or wherever you have a spot to grow a few things and so I've got the garden started here I got a lot of it planted I don't have it all planted yet but some things have to wait until the weather gets a little bit warmer and um, but I got some of my seeds and stuff in the ground so I want to show you what I've got planted so far so got some potatoes planted here and remember I was telling you about the rows and how to make hills so this, this is my walkway right here that I can walk through and then here's my potatoes I already have some potatoes coming up over here sorry about the shadow maybe there that's better but I have two rows of potatoes coming up here then over here I have some cabbages planted. Now I went ahead and bought uh, cabbages that had already started at the store because I don't do well with seeds. So I went ahead and got these little these ones that had already started. But down here I've got my onions planted, and as you can see, all I did was I just poked holes in the ground with my finger like this, and then I just stuck the bulbs down there. You don't want to cover them up; uh, they just don't grow very well if you cover them up. So over here I have some kale and some um, spinach planted, and I don't have any. I don't have anything planted in this bed yet, but I do have some little pots of stuff here. Oh, and let's see. I've got some catnip in here and stevia, which I've never tried before, and so I, I've got some. So I'm going to try. Uh, a few things in these little pots so I just want to show you some different ways that I've, I've done things and then over here I've got let's see what did I plant here I don't even know these are uh, tomatoes that I have planted in, in this row right here and then I have some lemon balm here that I've got started and where these wires are I've got peas uh, sugar snaps planted and over here I have some basil planted in this row and those are potatoes coming up over there and this is all potatoes here getting ready to build me some new beds so I'm going to make a long bed out of this row and a long one out of this row and this one here I'm going to cut in in half I think it's what I'm going to do and put one on that end and put one up on that end so I'm going to cut a little piece of this board off right here probably about that much off of each board then I'm going to take it up here and I'm going to screw it to this to hold those two pieces together to make this one long bed wall and then that'll be a bed wall yep. so then over here I have some beets planted and yeah that's potatoes again i'm gonna fill all this in and put some more add some more beds over here this is a bed that i'm trying to get ready i've got this tarp on it but i don't have enough stuff down on it to keep it keep it down this I have tomatoes started in. I have some German pinks and let's see, purple uh, bumblebee. These are like little um, cherry tomatoes. And then back here I have some mortgage lifters. So all this is, I've got uh, rabbit manure on top here as a fertilizer. And uh, so when these all start coming up, then I'll transplant them. And then up here I have lettuce. I've planted this full of lettuce. It's a little swimming pool. It has holes all in the bottom of the swimming pool. I punched them down with a hoe. 
and so that it has plenty of drainage in there and if I've got lettuce growing all in there and then I brought a few strawberry plants so I got a few of those growing hoping to expand that out that way so and then a couple of uh, one little surprise down here that I found that I had forgot about that I had planted and then planted over top of it again but I got a few little asparagus coming up <laughs> so I just put a little bit of dirt around them but what I use to start these like the pool to start my seeds in um, is this here I use the Miracle Grow garden soil and then I use peat moss so as you can see it's real it's really nice it's peat moss it's not really I mean it's a dirt but it's composted and um, but when you use peat moss uh, you have to put the peat moss in something like this or like the little pool over there but you have to wet it down you can't I mean you can just plant in it but it's better to wet it down really good and let it sit overnight and then plant in it the next morning your seeds but what I do with the tomato seeds I just did the same thing I just poked my finger in here a whole bunch of holes then I just dropped my seeds in it then I just covered it up with some rabbit manure well, you can just cover it up with dirt if you don't have that so that's where we're at right now um, so hopefully I'm going to expand out here where the pigs are next year and uh, so there'll be new pigs next year but this this uh, permaculture fence right here will be moved into a different place and the, then this these garden beds will be moved out and we'll have a bigger area to plant. I'm hoping to plant some corn uh, one of these days, hopefully next year maybe. So let me go down here and show you what we did yesterday. Well, what happened yesterday? And this is just a bunch of trash we got to burn. <laughs> but we had a guy come over yesterday. Sorry about my hand. I can't find my little stick that I hooked to this to, to film. Um, what is it called? A selfie stick or whatever. There's the apple. But anyway, yesterday we had a, this guy that was a really nice guy came over with his little girl and cleaned all these stalls out. And look at this. Holy smokes. This is what was in the stalls and all winter yeah it's a big old mess this pile is just from this walkway yeah so the stalls look a whole lot better <laughs> yes they do they look a whole lot better so I'm really pleased. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, the manure was up. You can tell it was all the way up to like under this board down here and up across there. So this door wouldn't even hardly close. Look how much clearance there is on it now. But yeah, that's how much manure was in here. It's a lot of work, I'm telling you. There's always, there's just always too much work when you have a farm. There's all the girls. Now this is all we have left. This will. This is my. The girls were on saving, and um, we sold everyone else. And this is this is them. This is what I've got left. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls and one little boy that is um, getting. Um, he's been banded now. I put bands on him to. Um, it's he's not limping because of the bands. He's got a hurt leg, so he's limping a little bit. Um, but he's, he's getting better than he was yesterday. He's not limping quite as bad. Sorry about the notification bell. I always forget to turn it off. Hey, Apple, how you doing? How you doing? You doing okay? Huh? Uh, 
here. So that'll be my girl for, for next year's breeding. Mr. G, he just one lazy dude. <laughs> oh, I've got a duck underneath this um underneath this um, goat pen down here. That white chicken right there is kind of looking at the direction where the duck's at. So I'm not sure if there's a little... There was one little um, chick that hatched. I guess she was sitting on chicken egg. But she's been sitting on that duck egg for quite... I think there's two under there. She's been sitting there for quite a while now, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I got a bunch of eggs in the incubator. So they should be hatching in the next couple of days. Oh man! So, but breeding season is over for the goats, and boy, it was tiring, very tiring. Yeah, we got a. Uh, if anybody's interested in any of this manure, we can uh, load it in your truck for you, and back to your truck, and take it home. Or you to compost it down. You have to let this compost for a year before you use it in your garden, though. You can't take it home and plant in it. It wouldn't be good for you to do that because uh, it needs to compost down and turn to dirt. So if anybody's interested and would like to have a truckload of it, just let me know. And uh, we got the uh, tractor here that can load it for you. We usually charge $20 a truckload. We usually do two big scoops. And here's our little pigs. I'm trying to remember what the kids named them. I think one of them's a uh, uh, ham hawk, and one of them's name is Sir Hammy, or I don't know, Sir something. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what they call them. Uh, that pan down there keeps hitting this fence and making it pop. But they're digging up. What I want them to do, I want them to dig up. And they keep getting in their bowl, taking a bath in it. That's their water bowl. I have to dump that out and clean it out every every afternoon. It was clean this morning. <laughs> oh, little piggies. <laughs> They're cute right now. Well, I thought they were ugly when I first got them because we had pigs before and they were really cute. But look at them. They want to get in their mud. I'm going to get them a swimming pool. I was going to get it today and I forgot, but I might run up later and get them one, fill it up. See how they want to get in there and take a bath. <laughs> They're rooters. So see what I want to do is I want them to root all this up, all this grass and everything. And next spring, I'm going to move them. Like I said, I'll move these fences and stuff. They won't be here next spring. You know, they'll be in the freezer, but, uh, um, the grass, all this part here will be ready to expand into a garden. So, and they'll do most all the work. So one of the reasons we got them was to till all this up, get it ready for a garden, fertilize it. So, and I'll show you the tractor. I'll show you what I was talking about when, what we do is, uh, like with this here, this here stuff, this compost that we have here, I try to cover up every time they poop. I try to cover it up so it doesn't, you know, get to smelling bad. And it also helps build garden beds up. So, that's one of the things I'm doing with that. And then, let me show you the tractor. <coughs> tractor our big tractor is broke right now. So, um, we usually use the big, tra the big tractor, the big bucket, and usually one great big scoop of that will fill up a small bed truck. But, we'll have to use this tractor in the the bucket's not quite as big, so we'll give you three scoops of that for 20 bucks. And that should fill up, I think, should fill up a small bed uh, truck. So, anyway, we still have our bunny rabbits. Had somebody come and take a couple of them yesterday. And uh, so let me show you them. We bought, we made little bunny crackers for them. See, they're down there in their little bunny trackers. And just lift it up. Mm 
and then we just put this thing right here. And then that's it. And we gave him one of these for a water. This is the little thing I feed them in. I just keep it in between this wood here because they can stand on it and eat. And it helps just keep it in place so that it's not like way down there or you know, someplace it shouldn't be. This little black and white one's not for sale. But this white one and this white one is for sale. All right, let me put this back down. Scarlett's dad made that. Made this rabbit tractor. And this one here is a makeshift one. Uh, we haven't quite finished it yet. So it's got a door on top of it. See, it's a glass door. We can take this off if we need to, though, because it's got a screen down here. If we ever need to, just open the screen up for them. So, all of these are for sale, these little bitty ones here. They're ready to go. Sitting in his bucket. <laughs> They're very sweet. Very sweet little bunnies. So, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. All right. I think that's about all for today. I hope everybody's doing well. I know this is really getting scary and the grocery stores are having slim pickings. I, I went today and I was like, oh my goodness, there isn't much here. So, you know, if anybody, you know, needs any help or needs any food, if you're really hungry and you need some food, let me know. Um, we have plenty of chickens and different things like that and I have milk and I mean I can't sell milk but I have milk if you're if you're hungry and you need milk for your kids let me know uh, I can give it to you uh, trade you for something or you know whatever but I can't sell it anyway um, take care <laughs> count your blessings people that's all we can do right now so count your blessings. Be happy that you do have food on the table, that you have shelter, and your family as well. And um, take care. God bless. Bye.